Burmilla cat versus Burmese cat. What are the differences between these two cat breeds? Burmilla is another example of the accidental creation of a new cat breed. The unplanned mating between a Burmese and a chinchilla Persian in England in 1981 produced four black shaded female kittens with short, thick coats. The breeder realized how attractive such a breed could be and went on to develop what became known as the Burmilla. Burmilla is recognized by Britain's governing council of the Cat Fancy and Europe's Federation Internationale Feline. The breed entered the Cat Fanciers Association miscellaneous class in February 2011. The ancestors of the Burmese are the Siamese and the Copper Cat of Burma. It's thought that they were temple and palace cats bred and kept by priests. The matriarch of the modern Burmese was a small, dark brown cat named Wang Mao. She belonged to Dr. Joseph Thompson, who either acquired her from a sailor or brought her back himself from his travels, depending on which story you believe. Wang Mao was at first thought to be a Siamese with a chocolate-colored coat. Dr. Thompson bred Wang Mao to a seal point Siamese named Tai Mao. His breeding program, in conjunction with breeders Virginia Cobb and Billy Gerst and geneticist Clyde Keeler, produced kittens with beige, brown, and pointed coats. The results, including the discovery of the Burmese gene, were so interesting that Thompson published an article on the subject in a 1943 issue of the Journal of Heredity, the first such piece on feline genetics. The Cat Fanciers Association began registering Burmese in 1936 but suspended registrations in 1947 because breeders were still using Siamese in their breeding programs. Registrations resumed in 1953 after the practice was stopped. Today the Burmese is a popular breed among cat lovers. Besides their sweet personalities, Burmillas stand out for their coats, which have a silver-white background color that is tipped or shaded with a contrasting color. In Burmillas with a tipped pattern, the color tips about one-eighth of the entire hair length and is evenly distributed, giving the coat a sparkling appearance. Burmillas with tipped coats generally look lighter than Burmillas with shaded coats. In the shaded pattern, about one-third of the hair shaft is shaded, which is why the shaded cats look darker. Colors in both tipped and shaded patterns include black, brown, lilac, blue, chocolate, cream, red, and tortoise shell. The silky coat can be short-haired or long-haired. Long hairs may have ear tufts and a fully plumed tail. In all other respects, they look much like the European Burmese with a gently rounded head that tapers to a short, blunt wedge, medium-sized to large ears with slightly rounded tips that tilt forward a bit, large eyes that can be any shade of green, and a medium-sized body with slender legs, neat oval paws, and a tail that tapers to a rounded tip. Burmese is often described as a brick wrapped in silk, a testament to his solid, muscular body. While the original Burmese was a dark solid brown color known as sable, he now comes in other shades as well including blue, champagne, and platinum. The cats have a compact body with a rounded head, large, expressive eyes in gold or yellow, and medium-sized ears that are rounded at the tips and tilt slightly forward. The coat is short and satiny. The traditional sable is a rich, warm brown, slightly lighter on the underbody. A kitten's coat darkens as it matures. Nose leather and paw pads are brown. A champagne-colored Burmese is a warm honey beige shading to a pale gold tan on the underside. Nose leather is a light warm brown and paw pads are a warm pinkish tan. Blue Burmese have a medium blue coat with a slightly lighter belly. Nose leather and paw pads are slate gray. Platinum Burmese are a pale silvery gray with light fawn undertones and a slightly lighter color on the underbody. The nose leather and paw pads are a pretty lavender pink. Some associations permit other colors, including tortoiseshell, lilac, and red. Hello! This video is sponsored by Bmix Pets. Are you looking for high-quality cat collars at an affordable cost? Check out bmixpets.com. Use coupon code KITTENLIFE to get 20% off. Burmilla brings together aspects of the Burmese and the Persian into one sweet, friendly package. He is quietly affectionate and gentle but more extroverted than the typical Persian. He is adventurous but a bit of a klutz, so put away breakables when he is around. Burmillas remain playful into adulthood. They love their people, but they aren't excessively demanding attention. When a lap is available, though, the Burmilla is there. Burmese are energetic and friendly. He has the charm and determination of his Siamese ancestors and enjoys conversation as much as that breed, but his voice is soft and sweet, belying his tendency to run the household with an iron paw sheathed in velvety fur. He is highly intelligent and seeks out human companionship, so he's not best suited to a home where he will be left alone much of the day. If no humans will be around to engage his intellect, be sure he has the company of another pet. He gets along well with other cats and with dogs, but of course, another Burmese will be his best pal. Burmese is about as curious as cats come. Expect him to explore your home thoroughly and know all of its nooks and crannies. 
he is playful and remains so into adulthood. Tease his clever mind with interactive toys, and teach him tricks that will allow him to show off to an audience. Besides sit, roll over, wave, and come, he can learn to fetch a small toy or walk on a leash. With proper early conditioning, car rides and vet visits will be a breeze. A Burmese is a good choice if you don't object to complete loss of privacy. This cat will want to be involved in everything you do, from reading the newspaper and working at the computer to preparing meals and watching television. He will, of course, sleep on the bed with you and may even snuggle under the covers. When you are sitting down, he will be in your lap or right next to you, waiting expectantly to be petted. You will be scolded if you ignore him. Guests will receive his full attention, and it is likely that he will win over even those who claim to dislike cats. A female Burmese is the very definition of queenliness. She likes attention, and she likes to be in charge. Males are more restful, satisfied to fill a lap. Whichever you choose, it's likely that you will soon find yourself yearning for another. The Burmil is short, smooth coat is simple to groom with weekly brushing or combing to remove dead hairs. A bath is rarely necessary. Brush or comb a long-haired Burmilla two or three times a week. The soft, short coat of the Burmese is easily cared for with weekly brushing or combing to remove dead hair and distribute skin oil. A bath is rarely necessary. Brush the teeth to prevent periodontal disease. Daily dental hygiene is best, but weekly brushing is better than nothing. Trim the nails weekly. Wipe the corners of the eyes with a soft, damp cloth to remove any discharge. Use a separate area of the cloth for each eye so you don't run the risk of spreading any infection. Check the ears weekly. If they look dirty, wipe them out with a cotton ball or soft damp cloth moistened with a 50 to 50 mixture of cider vinegar and warm water. Avoid using cotton swabs, which can damage the interior of the ear. Keep the litter box spotlessly clean. Like all cats, Burmese are very particular about bathroom hygiene. It's a good idea to keep a Burmilla and a Burmese as an indoor-only cat to protect them from diseases spread by other cats, attacks by dogs or coyotes, and the other dangers that face cats who go outdoors, such as being hit by a car. Burmillas and Burmese who go outdoors also run the risk of being stolen by someone who would like to have such a beautiful cat without paying for it. The gentle and playful Burmilla and the active and social Burmese are a perfect choice for families with children and cat-friendly dogs. They will play fetch as well as any retriever, learns tricks easily, and loves the attention he receives from children who treat them politely and with respect. They live peacefully with cats and dogs who respect their authority. Always introduce pets slowly and in controlled circumstances to ensure that they learn to get along together. If you enjoyed this video, kindly press the like button. Also don't forget to subscribe with notifications on, so that you don't miss out on videos like this. Thank you for watching.